What's up, guys, girls, and bags of bone marrow? So, um, if you might have seen the recently, Colin made a video on the tower, and he very briefly talked about his thoughts on the coins in it. Very, very brief and very, very minor. But someone in my Discord server gave me the idea to try and see if I could improve any of the blue coins. I'm not going to bother doing anything with the yellow coins because the yellow coins are everywhere. Um, but yeah, try to improve the blue coins in the tower and see if we can do anything. Um, these are not going to be like fully polished because I uh, am not very good at creating. But we're gonna see if we can make something happen. So the first blue coin that we're gonna tackle is obviously on the tower, and it is the one that is <laughs> right here. This hitbox is a coin. Wow. So yeah, you have to jump through this wall that <laughs> looks completely normal, and um, you know, if you do that, yippee, you get a coin. So my idea, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this work, is um, what if we try to maybe see if we can make the wall look kind of like cracked or something? And then we can, I don't know, put a bomb somewhere you gotta bring back and then you can like blow it up. That sounds complicated, but potentially doable. I think that the cellar has a cracked wall, so I wanna see what that looks like. Yeah, right here. Oh, it's like a separate object. Interesting, okay. All right, well, it's not the loveliest looking image, but it works. So now, put some blocks there. Um, and then now we need to put a bomb somewhere. We gotta find a place to put a bomb. You know where you should put a bomb, AKA your mouse cursor, and then click the subscribe button, baby, yeah! Because we actually demolished 200K and we are setting our sights on 300K, let's go! All right, back to bombs. Maybe we can just put the bomb on one of the platforms or something? Like that, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, whatever. I'm trying to see if there's a way to have it like be on your back, sort of. Yeah, cause like if we do this, it, hmm. Okay, well this could work still. So if we like set these as spawn triggers. We can spawn trigger this when you, yeah. And then we just need to make it move. Moving all right, but it doesn't stop moving when we pick it up. Um, okay. Maybe we should do like a different bomb? Like maybe there should be a bomb that's always on the player, like following them, but just like uh, when you spawn in initially. I'm just gonna look this up, hold on. Cause the seller does like almost the exact thing I'm trying to do here. Okay, I mean, it kind of works. It's a little bit off, I suppose. Is there a way that we can, like, offset it a little bit? Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, let's instead make it hover above the player, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then you can run back here, and then maybe we'll do a thing where, you know, if you tap in midair, it'll, like, throw the bomb at the wall and uh, it'll explode. Um, all right, this is an idea, this is an idea. So we're gonna make this one move again, and then we're gonna have another one that is hidden. Toggle this one and hide the other one. Oh, that's because the other one is, these need to be on the other group actually. Am I stupid? Oh, this is, okay, that, that explains it. Well, it worked, but it's like, are these not spawn triggered? They're not, I would explain it. Okay, so now the bomb's right there and boom, now it's on me. All right, cool, cool. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so then once you grab the bomb, it should spawn like, like a collision block over here. And then when you're in this collision block or this state block, I, I suppose, uh, if you click, you'll like chuck the bomb at the wall and it'll explode for you. I want to get the effect to work right first before I go and uh, actually do it. All right, cool. So yeah, so it, it'll zip over to the wall, which is all fine and good. And then we need uh, an explosion. We need an explosion trigger thing. Um, Like it's working, but it's also not fully... I think the issue is because it's still following like me, like the player. Uh, yeah, like it's still following the player which is kind of throwing off the animation. There we go. I guess dynamic mode was the answer to our problems. Okay, cool. Yeah, so now, so that's that's good. Um, let's play an explosion sound because definitely in this level. There we go. 
And then, uh, yeah, and then after that, yeah, because now you, now the, the way is very clear and you can go in here, you can get your blue coin. All right, um, like I said, it's not the prettiest solution, but I would argue that this is maybe a little bit more creative than what we had. Um, and I'm content with this. So now all we need to do is touch trigger this thing, or yeah, like make it so you can do it uh, in midair. So <clears throat> let's do that. Uh, what I'm gonna do. So we need to have a state block here um, because we're gonna have to display like this thing. All right, yep, and then we'll use that other kind of block that was in the tower or the cellar, which was this, I believe. And that will activate this spawn trigger. Yep, and then, yeah, so then now we just need to make it to where these blocks will vanish afterwards. That seems to work. Uh, we do need to toggle them off initially, and then when you grab the bomb, they should toggle back on. All right, uh, I think this works. Let's test it to be sure. Yep, they spawn on when you grab the bomb, and then they go away when you uh, drop it. All right, um, let's test it out from the start. Ooh, there's a cracked wall. I wonder what that could signify. Too bad we can't get over there yet. All right, over the saws. <clears throat> oh, hey, there's a bomb there. I wonder what that does. Let me grab that. Then we can bring this back. Hey, I like that. Dude, I think that's sick. Oh my God, wait. I'm actually so happy that that works, dude. I've got I've got tears in my eyes. <laughs> All right, cool, dude. I I know a lot of times in my videos I try to get as much content done as possible. Like I try to grind out um, a bunch of stuff, but honestly, it feels kind of nice when I like sort of take it slow and just focus on, you know, one thing. When I can sort of just you know let one idea blossom, you know. So that's the first coin. The second coin is right here, and honestly, like I don't know, like it's. It's fine. <laughs> uh, there's nothing particularly special about this one, I, I feel. Um, it's good. Then the other one down here is, it's it's strangely hidden. And like, I don't know. Like, I feel like there are better ways to go about this. Um, so you have one idea real quick for this one. I think maybe it might be a little bit cooler if maybe we move this to a different platform so you have to like go back and do the uh, existing platforming again. Yeah, so now you have to actually do some Epic Gamer platforming before you, uh... Why? Triggers are not my strong suit. There we go. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so this, this final coin... I don't know, man. Like, it's not a great coin, but I don't really know... I don't really know what I could do to make it better. I feel like this is a very good spot. I... I don't know. I feel like there needs to be more than just this glow. I don't know, maybe like a particle. Maybe like we can just throw like a particle in or something, right? I feel like that's good enough, right? I don't know. I think it is. <laughs> uh, maybe we should make it emit a little bit more and have a wider. Yeah, I think that's good. I feel like a player could notice that. All right, cool. So that's the tower. Um, Let's see if maybe we can do anything in the sewers before we go. All right, well, this first coin's right here. This is a pretty good spot, honestly. It's kind of what I would imagine a secret coin should be, which is like a little extra challenge. So that works. Uh, the second coin, we're not gonna fix that one because this one's awesome. Third coin, ah, yeah, this one. Yeah, we got some work to do here, I think. See, the thing that sucks about this is that I am not 100% sure how to play test this. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know. Uh, there's probably, I don't know. Like, I almost feel like, I almost feel like there's potential I instead of doing whatever this was to put it in the elevator section somewhere as like an additional challenge, right? Like what if we put it, you know, here somewhere? In fact, I'm just gonna play the elevator section because I don't really remember what the harder parts of it are like. What if instead of having it be in the wall here, like what if we just put it like right here, like off to the side and you had to like jump for it? And then we could make it so like, uh, <laughs> if you're too late, um, if you're too late, it just like sinks into the floor. Yeah, kind of like that, I guess. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. 
Dude, wait. That's so brutal. Hold on, how hard is that actually, though? Hey! I think that's fine, honestly. I mean, it's a little scuffed, but I mean, where else am I supposed to put it, bro? There's not really that many places in this level to hide a coin. Alright, cool. Well, that's the sewers. Uh, easy peasy. And, uh... <laughs> Maybe, uh, you know, if you guys want uh, me to do another part of this, then I will gladly do that and I can do the first two coins of um, this level and I can do uh, whatever coins in the secret hollow. I know the one in the ball part is fine, but the first and, and third one are kind of lame, so. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll be it for me for now. I will upload these levels so you guys can play them uh, when the city goes up. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy that. Special thanks to all the champ members, including Penji plays 149, Zandlol, I guess, Invdu, Arrow, and Sen6 Geometrics Dash. Thank you guys very much for all the support. It means the absolute world to me. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all in the next video. Mm -hmm.